This will be an in-depth review of the Gotway RS High Speed. Arguably, this is probably about as fast as the Sherman, the fastest wheel that I've ever ridden. The RS addresses a lot of the issues that I had with the MSP, which was like the slow speed, and the spin kill button wasn't very functional. Now the RS comes in two different flavors, the high speed and the high torque. This is the high speed edition. Let's take a closer look at the wheel. Gotway, known for its high speed and performance, has just released its fastest wheel ever, the RS. This wheel has the same 18 by 3 inch tire powered by a large 1800 watt hour battery, providing ranges of up to 60 miles. Now the biggest change is the motor. It's now a 2600 watt hollow bore motor which has more magnets, more torque, and speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. The standard pedals are now longer, wider, and less tilted than before, which I find more comfortable. Now Gotway realizing that not all pedals are for everyone has provided an aftermarket option. These pedals have metal screws for studs and have the first of its kind adjustable tilting. Visually, the RS looks pretty similar to the MSP, but they did make a number of minor changes. The LEDs running along the side are more Tron-esque, and they added an RS logo in the same position as the Bluetooth speakers on the other side. The headlight is slightly brighter than before, and just above that, they added a second charging port. If you use the charger that comes with it, it'll take about 5 hours to fully recharge, but fast charging can bring that down to about 2 hours. And as for convenience, the trolley handle in the back is about the same as before. And a big minor change is the spin kill button is now underneath the main handle, potentially making it one of the most convenient, super fast wheels out there. It's been four months since my last video. People are getting anxious. Get out of here. Oh. Ah! Now, this video is sponsored by E-Wheels and E-Rides. Thanks for sponsoring this video. You can order and pre-order this wheel and along with other wheels at those websites. Now, that fan is still so loud. I'm gonna turn it off. And now the question is, is this worth the upgrade? Let's go take this out. First thing that we're gonna do is a speed test. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to get inside this area. Dolly University, we're gonna do a speed test right here. We're gonna go all the way down there, come towards the screen, all synced up. Okay, ready to go. I am at 85% battery life. too slippery here I can't do it here this is just like polished marble not a good place to do it all right this should be a good spot I'm gonna do a little speed test this thing has a tendency to overheat let's hope it doesn't Oh, this is going to be good. Can this beat the Sherman? We're about to find out. Ready? Set. Go. Whoa. Wow, there's just so much torque in this thing. Feels so good. This track is really grippy. It's nice and rubbery, so I like the I like that I can get traction. I'm not slipping and falling on myself. Wow. 
Wow, so good. It's just super powerful. The motor control is super smooth. And let's do this again. Ready? Set. <laughs> it's probably a little bit weaker than the MST, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'd say that it has more torque than the Sherman. We'll see what the speed test results are and let them speak for themselves. This feels really good, especially on nice smooth surfaces like this. This thing is extremely zippy. I can zip so hard, so fast, and I have pretty solid control. So I like it. I want to go try it out in some other places. Woo. Ah. Dolly is so much nicer and more beautiful than Beijing. Every day it's like partly cloudy, gorgeous. This is just perfect for riding. I bumped up my tire pressure so hopefully I won't get another flat. I've already gotten three of them. I'm riding around the university right now. I'm gonna try to find some challenges. Hopefully, I won't get kicked out. I'm feeling like I have pretty much complete control of the wheel. Has lots of torque, high speed, really comfortable to ride. The terrain here is very different than what I find in Beijing where the roads are really smooth and there's lots of obstacles to go through. But Dolly presents its own set of challenges. One of my concerns with this wheel was that with the new hollow bore motor was that it's going to be more heavy around the outside edges because it has more magnets thus increasing the inertia thus making it slower to accelerate but i don't really feel that at all it feels just as easy to accelerate as the msp just when i want to crank it it goes the motor control is just as smooth as i've seen on any other wheel after riding the sherman for so long the RS is very refreshing in terms of its 
agility. It's much quicker to turn. This has higher torque, so I can accelerate faster. Woo! I can go like 40, 45 if I'm really pushing it. I can definitely take tighter turns without scraping the pedals, but it is possible to scrape the pedals. It's just a little bit more difficult. If I wanted to, I could adjust the pedals to make them a little bit more angled, but I find that uncomfortable. And I feel like I'm about to get kicked out of here, so we'll see what happens. No. The guys seem to not care about me. Okay, this is different than Beijing. So this place is quite ideal to be riding around, but that's not really representative of the roads in Dali. So let's go out and hit the road. Get out of here. Definitely feels a bit wobbly on braking. Yeah, if I were to race up terrain like this, I don't know if there's gonna be a better wheel that could uh, power its way up. For this cobblestone that's poorly maintained, it does a pretty good job. It has enough torque to do it, but I noticed the pedal's slightly dipping down. I don't know if you can see that in the footage. It's not too bad, but you, you can definitely feel it. I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna bottom out, but I put a little bit more pressure in my tire than normal, 25 PSI, so hopefully I'm good. about the convenience factor of this wheel. This is where the RS does incredibly well. The spin kill button takes it to the next level because before on the MSP, the button was on the side and that was pretty much garbage. But having the button underneath makes all the difference. It makes it so much easier to pick it up and it doesn't spin. Now, the trolley handle, as usual, is good enough. You can basically trolley it around this, but there is one issue. It's when you put it all the way back down, it doesn't go all the way back down and it tends to get stuck a little bit, but it's, not, it's definitely not a big deal to me. Now, another issue that I have with this thing is that the water sealing around these lights and the speakers are not entirely waterproof. There's a small gap around the RS light, which I discovered allows water to seep in. I don't think it's too serious, but after riding in the rain, you should probably keep it upright. The standard mudguard is made of plastic and snaps in. I think it's pretty flimsy. It came loose a bunch of times after I bumped it against the wall or something, and then eventually I lost it. I'm glad they're including it, but I'd recommend just buying the rubber one and screwing it on. Also, I had the original pedals that came with it. They're slightly longer, wider, and more comfortable than before. But I did have an issue with the grip tape. It started to wear off pretty quickly, so I did what I always do and removed the original grip tape and rubber. Then I put down some extra coarse grip tape, and after that, I thought they were nearly perfect. I'd say that that's probably a little bit more grippy than these studded pedals, but if you deal with mud or off-roading, then maybe the studded pedals are gonna perform better because once you get mud on grip tape, they're pretty much worthless.
end of the day, the RS High Speed is an incredibly fast, nimble, fun wheel to ride while having some convenience. So if you're like a city rider that's using it to commute and you need to do other errands, this is gonna be a great wheel. Now the handling, it feels very similar to the MSP, which is pretty nimble. It's really easy to take tight turns. I don't really need to worry about my pedal scraping. I can punch it. I thought they would have to make some trade-offs with the torque. It's pretty much me holding the wheel back in terms of power. The only thing that you know limits me really is kind of the high-speed wobbles. And that probably is the biggest downfall to the RS. If you hit a bump, it feels a little bit more jiggly. Now, when I was living in Beijing, I had elevators and escalators everywhere, so I didn't have to worry about convenience in almost any sense. Now in Dali, there's stairs, and there's no escalators, there's no elevators, so I have to keep on going up and down those stairs. Convenience actually is a much bigger issue for me. The RS is very convenient. It's, it's a one-handed operation, and I can just pick up the wheel and walk up the stairs. That is something I can't do with the Sherman. The Sherman is like a hit the power button, then you gotta pick it up with both hands on both sides. You gotta walk up the stairs while it's bumping into your crotch. It is not comfortable. So at the end of the day, the RS high speed is basically the MSP with higher speeds and a more convenient spin kill button. And those two things may not seem like much, but it completely changes the entire wheel for me. Now, this is, this is a really sporty wheel. And if you're riding something sporty and it goes fast, probably gear up. Sorry I've been gone for four months. I moved from Beijing to Dali completely unexpectedly. Didn't really have my filming equipment. Kind of got lazy and I'm enjoying myself over here. It's a gorgeous place. So once again, I'd like to thank my sponsors E-Wheels and E-Rides for sponsoring this video. They're reputable authorized dealers of these wheels, which means if you have a problem or a warranty issue, they're gonna be able to deal with it unlike some of the online sellers, especially this model in particular. If you happen to have a problem, like the ball bearings that I've heard that three to 5% of these wheels are having issues with, but they are fixing it. I'm not sure if that's gonna be an issue going forward, but it seems to be the case for the ones that are already on the field. Ready? <laughs> I'll be careful. Just makes me wanna go outside.